everybody Jay Leone here as you saw there this thing is beautiful I love this thing 30 watts China has finally done it they've done 30 watts they successfully released the 22 watt which was a different board entirely then they came out with the 30 watt and bear with me because this camera <clears throat> isn't all that great but the 30 watt um, let's pull this guy down here I'll do some side, side comparisons in a later review. This is just a um, a quick heads up, tell you what it is. Um, there's been a lot of talk about these guys. They have cloned the DNA 30. Um, what was what's in this box here? Well, this is the DNA 20. This is the DNA 30. There's been a lot of speculation of um, is it real? Um, when's it coming? Is it gonna fire cell bombs? Is it really gonna be 30 watts? Um, I've had it just for a couple hours now, bear with me. It does fire at 30 watts. It does fire, so far, anything I've put on from 0.5 and up. Um, I'll do more testing later on, but the one flaw I have with it at, at this moment is I put on a 0.3 ohm and I tested it, and it comes up on here as a 0.5. So it seems to be reading everything higher um, by 0.2. So I put a 0.4 on, it came up as 0 0.6. 0 0.3 came out as 0.5. So it actually is firing everything 0.3 and up, like it claims, but it's reading it differently. So I don't, we'll get into that more later. But I want to clear um, some things out of the air here. Uh, yeah, why is my camera's very blurry today? But anyways, it's late at night. I just wanted to clear some things. It does fire 30 watts. It does fire 0.3 and up. As of now, this is a few hours in. Um, take a quick look at it here. When you do press the fire button, another little gripe I have is the hand. It says Hannah mods every time it goes into its sleep mode, and you press that fire button for the first time. That first one's not a fire. It's actually telling the device, "Hey, I need to use you." And then the next one would be a fire. So that's a little bit of annoyance. Uh, we'll talk to the manufacturer because I'm getting a batch in that I'm going to be selling through SmilingVapes.com in various colors. They sent me a free sample. Um, they're doing it right. They want to make sure the product is good before they start sending them out to the vendors, me and everybody else that's done the pre-orders. I'm not doing a pre-order. I'll have them in stock and you'll be able to purchase them that day. That is it. Uh, my prices will be uh, just a little bit higher. I know. I know. Um, just because I will have them in stock and I'm not doing bulk pre-orders. You know, I can't sell them for the amount of money some other vendors are doing. But you can check them on my website. Right now I have them for $79.99. Uh, they're not in stock. They're not in stock yet. Um, it's going to be another week or so till they ship all of them out. So just a quick update. Um, looks just like a Hannah. The lighting here right now is really bad. But um, just like a Hannah, there's no logoing on there. You see that DNA screen there. Um, it's pretty identical to a DNA 30, or if not identical, it has the uh, micro USB charger here, which I believe is micro USB. Um, it charges, and you can vape on it at the same time, just like the Hannah. It's got the two screws in the back, which are where your battery goes. Um, I'll probably post up some pictures at the end here to show you what it looks like behind here, and just a quick snap uh, snapshot that I took of it. Um, it goes from 7 to 30 watts, and it does it. It does it, and it does it at sub ohms. It does it at normal ohms. It's sturdy film. It doesn't feel as cheap as I thought it would. It says it's billet aluminum, 6061 aluminum. I, is it billet 6061? Yeah, I believe so. If, if, it's, if I'm wrong, I'll put it on the bottom what it really is. I'm kind of just rambling because I'm going at this just first glance. Again, it feels sturdy. Button is just like the Hannah fire button. Very clicky. Um, up and down buttons here. Again, just like the Hannah, the buttons seem to be in there perfectly. Um, they don't seem sunken in like people were saying some of the buttons were sunken. Not the case. Um, it does have the, all the standard affair of DNA, um, Evolve chip features and whatnot. And taking up, that's up to 30 there. I don't know if you can see that, but it is 30. And it does fire. And this is, let's get some focus here real quick to let you take a better look at the screen. Ugh, this this focus. There you go, a little bit better there. 
It's a 0.6 ohm at 30 watts. Actually, this is a, uh, a 0 0.4, 0 0.5 ohm atomic on here, and it's reading at a 0.6. So there's that, um, but it does fire. And it does put out 30 watts. That is an intense vape. That is an intense vape at 30 watts. Um, what else can I say about it? Let's take a quick look here at the 510 connection. And that's it because I'm going to save. That's my atomic. I'm going to save more in de detail review for later when I've tested it for at least a week. I just want to show you they are here. Um, identical to the Hannah's. You can see there. It does fire 30 watts. It does fire sub ohms. And I lost my atomizer. Um, here's an Omega going on here. 510 connection is buttery smooth. Everything seems to sit flush. Thanks to that recessed cup they have on there. It's not a floating 510, just a standard 510. Um, we'll update later on with more info. Just so you know, fire sub ohm, fires 30 watts, fires 7 watts, fires anything in between. Um, takes an 18650 battery, this version does does not have a LiPo battery pack, which I like because I can change my batteries or charge it via the provided, because they also provide a USB um, to micro USB, I believe micro, to charge it. So that's it. That is a quick, quick sneak peek. These videos are going to be popping up from everybody now. I just wanted to get this out here and let you guys know they're here. They feel solid. They perform. And that's what I wanted to know and I was worried myself. Um, I can't wait to get the other batch with all the colors in. I'm going to have blue, red, black, and um, green, I believe, also. So, variety of colors for about 80 bucks. Price isn't set yet. Kind of still debating what I want to set it at. It's going to be around 80 bucks, though, regardless. With the um, same great shipping that Smiley Vapes always offers. Thank you guys for tuning in to this little sneak peek, first look, glance. My facts are not all straight. Again, I've had it for a couple hours. I know people saying, this is this, this is this. I've had it for a couple hours. I'm just telling you rambling off what I know so far and uh, take a quick vape and I'll send you guys off I wanna know